Hi, welcome back to Sapnina. Let us stream together. In today's video, we are going to be learning about acids, bases, and neutrals. We can classify substances into different groups. For example, acids and bases. Acids and bases are important groups of chemicals and we can find them in many foods and household chemicals. For example, different types of soaps contain bases and fizzy drinks contain acids. Both the acids and bases can be weak while others can be strong and dangerous. We all like food and drinks depending on how they taste like. Foods and drinks contain all types of acids and bases. Fizzy drinks contain acids because the acids improve the flavor of the drink. Acids balance the sweetness of the drink and make them taste tangy. The human tongue can sense four different tastes. Salty, sweet, sour and bitter. In the past, being able to tell between these tastes helped us to survive. For example, we would eat a ripe apple because it would taste sweet and throw away an unripe one because it tastes sour. Fruits like oranges and lemons are called citric fruits because they contain citric acid. The acids in lemons have a quite a sharp taste. Many people would prefer oranges because they have more sugar in them which makes them taste sweeter. The scientific name for vinegar is ethanoic acid. We often use it in sauces and salad dressings because it improves the taste of some foods. If we leave milk outside the fridge it will turn sour. The sour taste is caused by an acid called lactic acid. It is important to remember that not all substances are safe to taste. You must be very careful about what you put in your mouth. Tasting substances is not the best way to distinguish them. Okay, now let's go a little bit more deeper. Let's learn about acids. The word acids comes from two Latin words, acida and acidus, which means sour. Acids generally have a sour taste. For example, lemon juice, vinegar, unsweetened fizzy drinks and etc. Many foods such as vinegar, fruits and sour milk contain acids. Even our stomach produces acids. Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which help us to digest our food. Other natural acids include citric acid which is found in citrus fruits. Ethanoic acid which is found in vinegar, lactic acid which is found in sour milk, hydrochloric acids which is found in our stomach juices and etc. Acids can be either weak or strong. All the acids I have mentioned earlier are weak acids except for the hydrochloric acid. Strong acids are much more dangerous than weak acids and it is very dangerous to taste or even feel them. Strong acids are corrosive, which means that they can eat through clothing, stonework, metals and even burn our skin. Because these are very dangerous, acids in bottles have hazard stickers on them to explain why that acid is dangerous. You must never smell strong acids because if you do, the acids can damage the membranes that line the inside of your nose. It is always best to wear safety glasses when you are working with strong acids. If you spill acids on your skin, then immediately rinse it with water under a running tap. The reason you have to rinse it with water under a running tap is because the water will dilute the acid. In other words, the, as the water will make the strong acid weaker. 
we are going to learn about the properties of acids now. Acids have the following properties. They taste sour, they feel rough on the skin. Many acids are strong and corrosive and are dangerous to taste or feel. These are some of the most dangerous acids. Fluoro antimonic acid, magic acid, carborane acid, nitric acid and etc. Okay, now that we have finished learning about acids, let's move on to bases. A base is the opposite of an acid. It will stop an acid from working. If we have too much hydrochloric acid in our stomach, then we can use an anticide like Eno to neutralize some of the stomach acid. Soaps, baking soda and anticides like Eno are common bases. Bases have a generally a bitter taste and have a soft soapy feel. Not all bases dissolve in water. But those that do are called alkali. Examples of bases include cleaning agents such as all-purpose cleaners, drain cleaners, oven cleaners and etc. contain alkalis. Examples of insoluble bases that means bases that cannot dissolve in water are copper oxide, lead oxide and etc. The properties of the bases are the following. They taste bitter. They feel slippery on the skin. Many bases are corrosive and caustic and are dangerous to taste or even feel them. Okay, now that we have learned about bases, let's learn about neutrals. Substances that are not acids or bases are called neutrals. Unlike acids and bases, neutrals are not dangerous. We can drink them, for example, pure water, and we can use them in food, for example, cooking oil and salt. You can make a neutral substance by reacting an acid with a basis. When we react it, the acid and the basis will cancel each other out and form a neutral substance. Toothpaste contains a weak basis that cancels out any acids that are in your mouth to make it neutral. Examples of neutral substances include pure water, salt solution, sugar solution and cooking oil. So how will we find out an unknown substance if it is an acid, a basis or a neutral? Well, there is an interesting way. Some substances contain dyes that change color when they are mixed with other chemicals. These are called indicators. The dyes in indicators change color when they mix with acids or bases. We can use indicators to identify acids and bases. Using indicators is a much safer way to see if the substance is an acid or a basis than tasting it or feeling the substance. An example of an indicator is litmus. Litmus is an indicator that is extracted from lichen. Red and blue litmus paper can be used to test if a substance is an acid, a basis or a neutral. So how are we going to recognize the difference between acids and bases? Litmus paper stays red in acids and blue in bases. Red litmus paper will remain red in an acid and a neutral and will turn blue in a basis. Blue litmus paper will remain blue in a basis and a neutral but will turn red in an acid. If blue litmus paper stays blue in the substance and red litmus paper stays red in the same substance then we will know that the substance is neutral. And that brings us to the end of our video. If you find this video informative, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till then, bye-bye.